The signaling in the nervous system requires a large number of different signals and then receptors which are capable of perceiving those signals. So for example, in this video, the amino acid tryptophan is converted into serotonin, which is a neurotransmitter. And many neurons then possess a variety of serotonin receptors, which respond to this serotonin. Likewise, the amino acid tyrosine can be converted into the neurotransmitter dopamine and there are a variety of dopamine receptors expressed throughout the brain. The neurotransmitters and the receptors for neurotransmitters used by the autonomic nervous system are important, especially given the importance of medications which affect blood pressure, asthma, and so many other aspects of autonomic function. But it is complicated given that Different neurotransmitters can be produced by preganglionic neurons and postganglionic neurons, and there can be differences uh, between the sympathetic division and the parasympathetic division. A neuron is referred to as cholinergic if it produces the neurotransmitter acetylcholine. So in the sympathetic division, the preganglionic neurons are cholinergic. They release acetylcholine. The, in the parasympathetic division, the preganglionic neurons are cholinergic. They release acetylcholine. And in the parasympathetic division, the postganglionic neuron is cholinergic because it releases acetylcholine. Neurons which produce norepinephrine are referred to as adrenergic. And the postganglionic neurons in the sympathetic division, the majority of them, are adrenergic because they release norepinephrine. This can be more confusing because receptors are called cholinergic if they bind to the neurotransmitter acetylcholine and are called adrenergic if they bind to norepinephrine and epinephrine. But a cell, so for example, the postganglionic neurons of the sympathetic division, they have receptors for the acetylcholine that the preganglionic neurons that contact them make. So they have cholinergic receptors, but these neurons then produce norepinephrine at their synapses. And so therefore these neurons are called adrenergic, but on their dendrites and soma, they possess receptors which are cholinergic. Not only are there differences between the autonomic nervous system and somatic nervous system, and between the sympathetic division of the autonomic nervous system and the parasympathetic division, there are differences within the sympathetic division. So while all preganglionic neurons are cholinergic, releasing the neurotransmitter acetylcholine, the majority of the postganglionic neurons are adrenergic because they release norepinephrine. In the adrenal medulla, the preganglionic neurons synapse with chromaffin cells, which release norepinephrine and epinephrine into the bloodstream. And a minority of the postganglionic neurons, such as those to eccrine sweat glands, are actually cholinergic because they release acetylcholine. 